Hello everyone. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're already familiar with me, then you probably know me for my Freshie videos. I'm expecting that many of you are new, but if you're not, don't click away just because this video isn't car Freshie specific. There's gonna be a lot of good things in here for you using supplies that you already have. Let's get started. So everyone that walks into my house always has the same reaction. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing in here. And on some days, I admit I look around and I think to myself, it shouldn't. My wax burners aren't on. I have no candles lit. I haven't been baking freshies. And more than likely, the trash probably needs to be taken out. On average, I spend about 20 of the 24 hours in a day in my house. So oftentimes I'm nose blind to my secret weapons that keep my house smelling great. On the rare occasion that I might go away for the weekend or take a little vacation, when I get back, I actually get to smell my house. I myself am always a little impressed. I think, wow, is this what other people smell when they come in here? Like, wow, it really does smell good in here, which is saying a lot because I have two boys ages eight and 11. So what's my secret weapon? Aroma beads. The great part about these is that they can be stashed away inside decor that's already out in your house where no one will ever even see them or know that they're there, not visibly at least, or they can be used as part of the decor themselves. There's no open flame or risk of fire like with candles. There's no messy wax that's melted just waiting for a little one or a cat to come over and knock it over and spill it everywhere. And unlike candles and wax burners, they don't need to be plugged in, turned on, or lit in order to give off scent. They're always on without you having to do anything. So even with the dreaded pop-in visit, your house will always smell great. And these last for months. So what are aroma beads? They're tiny absorbent plastic pellets that are specifically made out of a type of plastic that is designed to absorb 30% of their weight in liquid. In this case, they'll be absorbing fragrance oil. They aren't wax pellets, and they aren't the little plastic pellets you use in stuffed animals. They're also not similar at all to the little scent beads that you get at the grocery store for your laundry. You can purchase these from several different candle companies. Um, if you just Google aroma beads, generally you'll get a few candle companies that will pop up which is more than likely where you're gonna be looking to purchase these pellets. Avoid Amazon, you never know what you're gonna get there, and there's been a ton of people to order from Amazon and not get the right kind of beads, even though they are listed as aroma beads, and what ends up happening is they never actually absorb the fragrance oil. So avoid Amazon just to be on the safe side. Some Hobby Lobby locations do sell one pound bags, but that can get a bit pricey, but sometimes you pay for convenience. So if you would rather just go into a Hobby Lobby and buy a bag of these as opposed to ordering them online, that's fine. The ones at Hobby Lobby absolutely work just like they should, but be sure once again, not to be buying the wax pellets or the stuffy pellets. Look specifically for the aroma beads, which should be in the candle making section of the store. My favorite place online to purchase is a company called Buy It, Ship It and they sell fragrance oils as well, but by far they have the best prices on aroma beads and the fastest shipping. So if you're gonna start anywhere, that's where I recommend. So going back to absorbency. So if you need an example, three weighted ounces of aroma beads can absorb one weighted ounce of fragrance oil. Now you don't need that much, so we're gonna stick to the ratio of four to one, being four ounces of beads one ounce of fragrance oil. And you can increase and decrease this ratio to fit your needs or the amount that you need. So for instance, if you wanna cut it in half, we're going to split both of those numbers, the four and the one in half, leaving us with two to 0.5. So two ounces of beads to half an ounce of fragrance oil. If you want to double that ratio, you multiply both numbers by two, giving us a ratio of eight to two. And you can go further up with this, or you can go further down, whatever you need. So that brings me to my next key ingredient, which is fragrance oil. 
This is the same type of oil that's used to make candles and soaps and other types of body and fragrance products, room sprays, bath bombs, that kind of thing. This is not diffuser oil or burner oil. Those are mixed with other carrier oils and could impede absorption into aroma beads. You can get these from candle and soap making companies online. I know that Hobby Lobby does carry some options as well as Walmart. Just be sure that you're looking for 100% fragrance oil, or I think it can also be referred to as universal oil. And that's what you want to be looking for. Once again, not burning oil and not diffuser oil. And the beauty about this little trick using the aroma beads and fragrance oil of your choice is that you can get just about every scent out there. So say for instance, you have a favorite perfume that you would love your whole house to smell like. You're not gonna walk around with a $70 bottle of perfume and spray your furniture and spray the inside of your house. You also can't spray it into a candle to put off fragrance or anything of that nature. But odds are you can find it in a fragrance oil, a laundry scent that you really like, that you want more in just your clothing. You want it throughout your house. You want your whole house to smell like fresh laundry. You can find that bakery scents, apple pie, pumpkin spice. Did you have a favorite Bath and Body Works scent and they stopped carrying it? You can find that. Love Joe Malone fragrances, but can't spend $300 on a candle? You can find that too. Just search for the fragrance oil. Let's say that your favorite scent is Downy April Fresh, the fabric softener. And you want your home, like I said before, to smell like clean laundry all the time. Just Google Downy April Fresh fragrance oil and you're more than likely going to get a few companies that offer that fragrance oil. And then you can just choose from those which one you want to order from. Quite literally, you can get gasoline scented fragrance oil. I'm not kidding. That is just to say how limitless your options are when choosing a scent. If you're into designer fragrances, I will say that Wellington Fragrance has probably the largest selection of that specific type that I've found. So once again, keeping in mind that when you're on the search for fragrance oil, you wanna be looking for 100% fragrance oil. And if it's marketed for use in candles or soaps, you've got the right stuff. So let's get into the fun part. Now that you have your beads and your fragrance oil, I'm going to show you how to mix these two together. You're also gonna need a jar, glass jar of some kind. The easiest ones to pick up are just the mason jars. You can even get this one in a single for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Or also you can use a tomato sauce jar or something like that. Taking your jar, we're gonna place it on the scale. I also have this little funnel that just makes it easier to get the beads into the jar. So once I have all of this set up, I'm gonna go ahead and tear the scale to set it to zero. And I'm going to pour my beads in. And this time I'm going to be mixing four ounces of beads to one ounce of fragrance oil. So we've got the four ounces. And I know that this bottle has already been weighed for one ounce because that's the way it was sold, which makes this really easy. I'm gonna take that off, tear again, just to double check to see how much was actually in the bottle. So it's a little bit over one ounce, which is not a problem. And I just wanna add that if you do not have a scale, that is perfectly fine. For these projects that I'm showing you, it would be completely acceptable to use one cup of beads to two tablespoons of fragrance oil. Now, you just wanna close up your jar, give it a good shake, just to get that oil all throughout the beads. And this will take one to five days probably to completely absorb. So you just wanna leave them in the jar and every four to five hours or however often you want, just go by and shake it every once in a while just to make sure that the oil is getting onto all the beads and not just pooling at the bottom again where it's only touching these bottom beads. Just keep it distributed and keep shaking until you notice that they no longer stick to the sides of the jar. And once they're dry, you can use them for 
the project of your choice. And this is the great part, because like I said, with candles and wax burners, it's very messy. These are completely dry now. I can touch them. They're not going to get mess anywhere. I mean, other than maybe a few beads, which can be easily vacuumed up. But once they're dry like this, you can go ahead and use them. Okay, for option one, this one is easy enough and is one of my favorites. So I've got here a short, wide kind of planter pottery. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gonna take the beads and I'm gonna fill it just enough to where it'll hold these stems that I have already pre-clipped bought these at Hobby Lobby as well and I just went ahead and clipped them to the length that I needed. You can use any stems you like. You don't have to use succulents. Um, you can use flowers or other types of greenery and then I'm going to start arranging these in here. And just like that, you can no longer see the beads. If you are using some other type and there are a few little gaps, you can color the beads uh, brown. And I'll show you how to add colors to the beads in just a second. Oh, I missed one. Just pop that guy in there. All right, so these are really discreet and they will last a few months. They're really good in a bathroom or kitchen and it's super cute. Nobody would ever know that that amazing smell in your house is coming from this cute little plant decoration. So like I said, this one is my favorite and this will last for a few months before you just can take all this stuff out, pour the old beads out and pour a new scent or a fresh batch of the same scent if that's what you like. These beads in the jar will last more than a year so as long as they're closed up and they're airtight just like this you can mix them a year or more in advance option two is very similar to the first one but if you don't have a lot of space on shelves or tables to put something like the succulent then this is a great option so i got this little wall pocket at hobby lobby it's flat on the side and it hangs up on the wall and same idea you're going to take your beads, and I would say you probably need at least a cup to pour in, um, but you can do more if you'd like. That's what I've put in there. Pour the beads in there. Take a piece of greenery or some type of flower stems as an arrangement. And this is what it looks like hanging up on my bathroom wall keeping the whole bathroom fresh. Option number three is one of the ones where we're actually going to blend the beads into part of the decor. So I'm gonna grab my beads and I'm just gonna put a small layer into this little bowl here. This is another place where you could go fuller if you would like but just enough to really cover the base is really all you need. And you, of course, can get a smaller bowl or dish type thing to do this with. It just needs to be shallow and, once again, wide. Now I'm going to take these beads and I'm going to pour them into a separate jar. And now I'm going to color them. Now, what I usually use because I make freshies is a mica powder. But if you don't want to buy a mica powder, there is a trick that you can do. Eyeshadow, of course, is always readily available at all types of stores, including Dollar Tree, where you can get a single color for a dollar. So this is basically the same thing. It's just got a couple extra ingredients in it to help it stay in a compact pad type thing. So I'm just going to take a nail and I'm going to kind of crush it up and scrape it. And it's a little bit messy, so as I go, I'm just going to be pouring it into the beads. Okay. 
If you have mica powders, of course, you can always use those or you can buy mica powders if you would like. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this pinkish color to it. All right, so now we've got them in there and I'm going to close this up and give it a shake. And now I have changed the shades of the beads and I'm gonna pour them back into my little container. And I'm gonna spread them out. And now I've got this bag of seashells that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gonna place the seashells around in the beads. And you could do as many of you as you like. I'm gonna keep it right there. And then I'm just gonna take some glitter. This is completely optional. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it across the top to give it a little bit of a shimmer type effect. And then you, of course, can just have this out on your table or you can have it on your bathroom counter. And you don't have to use seashells. Of course, you could add whatever kind of little trinkets or things that go with your decor that you already have going on in your own home. So I'm gonna show an alternative on this same option and I'm gonna recycle these beads and I'm gonna take this more light pink color here and I'm gonna add it to the beads to change the shade just a little. It's not gonna do a whole lot. I actually am not, I actually like the color that it already is but I'm trying to get a little bit more of a pink Okay, and this one is just to show you that you can use this for holiday type occasions as well. So we've got Valentine's Day coming up. So I have this little bowl here. And I'm gonna pour these beads into this bowl. I got this little gnome pick that I pulled the actual stick off of that I'm gonna put in there. I have a different type of glitter that I am now going to Sprinkle around the top. I also got these little foam type flowers at Hobby Lobby in the Valentine's Day section. And I'm just gonna place those guys in there like that. And then I've got a cute scented Valentine's Day decoration. And of course, like I said, you could use this for any holiday. If you have Easter, or Christmas, Thanksgiving, you can always change this up to fit the holiday decor. Option four is probably one of the easiest ones. And I'm gonna show you two different alternative alternatives for this one. So you're just gonna take your dried beads and I got this little canvas bag. You can also get the little sheer type ones uh, at Hobby Lobby. Maybe a fourth of a cup of beads in there. Close it up. And then we just pop it right into the dresser drawer, keeping your drawers and clothes smelling great. The alternative to this one is any type of small container. You can just pour your beads in. I cut this little circle out of some lace. And then I'm just gonna take a piece of twine. You can use ribbon if you would like. And of course you can make it more decorative with the bow or whatever but just to secure this fabric so that none of the beads spill out. And just like with the little sash, we're just gonna be popping this right into the drawer. Number five is going to be a little bit more complex than the others. 
And what I'm gonna be making here are what I call closet discs, or they don't have to be discs, they don't have to be round. You just need a cookie cutter um, about three inches high or wide, a cookie sheet and a piece of parchment paper to place beneath the cookie cutter. And you pour your beads in. This is the same process as making a freshie. You're basically going to be making a car freshie. And in the previous one, I forgot to mention the little bags that you filled. These also work great in the car. You cinch them up and then you can hang them from your blinker or your gear shift, uh, even your rear view if you wanna do that. Going back to this one, you're gonna pour your beads in, place a nail in there, make sure you get on the bottom. And then you're gonna bake this at about 315 for 10 minutes. You do want to check on it. You don't want it to get too melted, but you want when you kind of tap the top for it not to pull up, stick to your finger and pull up off the rest of the beads. Fresh out of the oven, this is what it should look like. It looks a little clear, very glossy on the top. And when I touch it, it doesn't bubble or puff up. So now we're just gonna let this cool for about 15 minutes. Okay, now this has cooled and we're just going to peel it from the parchment paper. I like to start with the nail by working it out. And then you're just gonna press around the edges, separating the disc from the cutter. And then you can use a piece of twine or ribbon to string the disc. And then you can hang it from a closet rod or in my closet, I kind of have these little hooks that the rods go on. So you just take this one and you can hang it right on one of those. I also have another one up here that I hung here that came from my car that is still giving off a lot of scent after seemingly losing it in my car. So if you buy car freshies, just know that um, once they're out of the car, they still have their uses. But if you're just making these, like I showed you for personal use, then just hang them. You can hang them, tie them around the rod too, if you don't have these little hook deals. And that's it. They will keep your entire closet smelling great and fresh. This next option is also super easy because once your beads have soaked up the fragrance oil and are dry all you need to do is simply add them to your vacuums canister now i think this is probably best for dry vacuums i actually have a rainbow which requires me to put water into the to the tank so i bought this specifically for small jobs around my house and so that i can use this method it's great for when you're doing a little bit of tidying up right before company comes and you just want a big burst of fragrance throughout your house, just a little boost of what you already have going on. And we're simply going to be putting them in the tank and vacuuming as normal. So as you can see, what this does is it circulates the beads in the tank and then all of that air that is coming from the vacuum's exhaust is fragrant and being put off into the room. That's it for today's video, you guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching.